Hello, this is Michael McCarthy. In this video, we're gonna take a look at one of the new features in Ornatrix version five, and that's our kind of quick assignment of channels. If I uh, select this hair and go down to something like strand frizz, you can see that this is something that we might want to control via map uh, or a channel. So here's our assigned channel setup. If we click on this, we're able to assign any channels that we've created previously. Uh, but what we've included in version five is the create new channel options down here. So in this case, I'm gonna just start with painting guides and this should give us a quick way to go in and paint guides and have that channel automatically assigned for us. So when I do that, I kind of hop in a uh, channel paint modifier is added and I can go in and just say, okay, well, the hairs on this side are uh, the ones that I want to be affected by that frizz. Then I can go in and I can kind of hop out, go back up to my frizz, and you can see that uh, this will be what's affected. So let me just pump up that frizz quite a bit, and you can see those hairs are affected uh, by that channel that I just painted. So if I go back in and choose unassign, you can see obviously that frizz happens all over the head. Our next option is if I go in to assign channel, uh, instead of painting guides, I can paint vertices, and this is going to be on the distribution mesh. So when I do that, what will happen is a new vertex paint modifier for this channel will be placed there. And what I'll do is I'm just going to change my overall color to black, and I'm going to fill that. Then I'll go in and I'll paint with some white. So I'll say OK, and I'm going to go in and just paint where I want this to happen. So I'll kind of go here and say, all right, the hair on this side of the head, I want to have some frizz. So I can uh, just kind of click on that so we get our vertex colors back. And when I go to my strand frizz, you can see that that channel is assigned automatically. And uh, if I toggle this on and off, you can see only those hairs are being affected. And if I go in, I can always uh, unassign uh, that so you can kind of see the difference. So if I want to go back in, this channel's already created for me. Uh, it was the mesh selection for mapping channel two. And you can see that there. If I turn on show end result, you can see how that affects the hair overall. So this is just a quick way for you to create your guide channels based on vertex paint or painting on the guides themselves, allowing you to do that in a more kind of streamlined one-click workflow. Hopefully that helps you in your productions and your grooming with Ornatrix. Thank you very much.